Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hillary and I am the owner of Salt and Tides Counseling and here in Massachusetts it is raining today so I hope the weather is comfortable wherever you are joining us from. I am bringing you some strategies today, specifically five that are ways to de-stress during our work week. I think with the climate right now being the first of the month, happy November by the way, um, holidays are here. Uh, we are actively celebrating in all different ways which can leave a lot of room for big feelings that can be challenging to process. Um, you know, holidays especially and seasons change can bring about a lot of different feelings for folks. There are five ways, though, that we can use um, these tools for means of de-stressing. The first tool is journaling. Journaling can be done in a number of ways. Journaling allows for your feelings to be outside of your head and now you're able to process your feelings and really resonate with that mind-body connection. You can journal through a guided process where you're answering questions based on your unique needs or you can do what I like to call a brain dump where you are literally writing down anything that comes to mind that might just be in your way in order to do some critical thinking or get to your end result of the goal that you're trying to achieve. The second strategy is self-dialogue. Find a safe place. It could be a vehicle. It could be an office. It could be a bedroom. It could be a bathroom. And have a self-dialogue and have an honest conversation with how you're feeling. The only person that's there to judge is you. Strategy number three is to repeat positive affirmations to your unique needs. I have several of these on my page. Absolutely check them out. If there's any content you'd like to see around this, certainly reach out through DM. Um, but we here at Salt and Tides believe we can rewire the brain through repetition. And we are what we believe. So as we continue to repeat positive statements to ourselves in order to feel stronger and brighter as we move through our day, that is a strategy that you can hold in your toolbox. Strategy number four is to do some deep breathing and meditation. I think it goes without saying that this is a strong activity in order to calm your brain because it brings light to your mind-body connection. And it allows you to deep breathe and physically calm your amygdala down. Again, that is responsible for processing all of our fear and worry. And the last strategy is walking or exercise. The steady pace of exercise namely walking, will actually physically bring an overactivated amygdala down to a calmer state. All these strategies are helpful. Tailor them to you, your unique needs and follow for more content if you need these strategies in your day-to-day -day life. Be well and I hope everybody has a great day.